take a minute and think. How often do you stop and think about what will happen after you press end? What are people going to say? What are people going to think? Teenagers are notorious for being short-sighted. In the 80s, the hot topic for teenage indiscretion was drinking and driving. In the 90s, it was safe sex, and today, it is social media. Teenagers forget to think before they hit send. Teenagers forget to think about how this post will affect their future. New technology gives everybody, especially teenagers, an easy chance to mess up their life. It can be a very dangerous place. Let's say you're at a party and someone walks in with alcohol. Next thing you know, everybody is drunk and people are handing you th cups full of alcohol. Usually anyone would just say no, but you think, all my friends are doing it, and besides, what can one drink do? All of a sudden, you're drunk too and posting pictures online. People usually think that this would never happen to them. Sadly, it is true. At a small town in Eden, Minnesota, 100 kids were issued severe punishments, including suspensions from school, for posting while they were under the influence. Some of these kids were even on their school sports teams. The pictures they posted cost them two games for every picture that was posted. And, the, and some of them were even captains of their teams, but they were stripped of their leadership roles. When these students were accepted onto their sports teams, they signed a pledge saying that they would not drink. Yet these students did. But why? Maybe because of thinking, maybe because of peer pressure, or thinking who would ever find out. But this goes back to the idea, yes, teenagers are short-sighted, a lot. Some people do not post a lot online, but some people do cyberbully. Schools that give students laptops are monitored by the police or even the FBI. Associating the FBI with, with a school sounds like a big deal, right? In the summer of 2012, a, a school in Los Angeles hired a tech firm, paid a tech firm over $40,000 to track their middle and high school students' social media. What later came out of the results was shocking to many adults, but to many students, it was a relatable experience. A 12-year-old girl had jumped off of a bridge to her death because she was cyberbullied. The police were able to catch the 12 and 14-year-old girl who were bullying the other girl. However, the messages cost these girls the rest of their life. Whenever someone looks them up, they will see that they were arrested. I can imagine the same schools that were looking at them before are not looking at them anymore. Even if an online comment does not rise to the level of bullying, it can still destroy your life. Imagine you get your dream scholarship to your dream school, but your one tweet ruined it. Scott Fitch got, ex got a scholarship to UVA, but when the college looked up his social media, they found many comments they did not like. The recruiter stated, we found a social media and many of the comments are not representative of what our university is about. As an athlete myself, I know I want to continue to play sports even through college. Could you imagine telling your parents that you lost a scholarship because of a tweet? Making mistakes is inevitable. Everybody makes mistakes like forgetting their school books or their lunch. My parents are always running around because I always forget things. But it is one thing to forget little things, but is another thing to post something that will be there forever. I remember having an assembly since I was six years old about social media, yet it is still a problem today. More has to be done than sitting in an assembly where almost more than half the kids are asleep. Next time you post something, I challenge you to think about all the outcomes of your post. Thank you.